G'day guys and welcome to Nine Empire. This time we pick up a 66 Rust tank. Mustang. Hey guys, so rewind back to when I bought two AMC Javelins from a fella named Kim Cater. Well, I'm going back. This time, it's a Mustang. All right, so we're about to pull in. I've got the trailer hitched up, ready to go. I think this is gonna be a good one. All right, here she is, 66. Coupe, six cylinder, automatic. It's a neat little bus. Let's have a look around. All right, the weather's held off for us. It was really hot today. Last time I was cooking, when I was loading those javelins, I was sweating my ring out. Now it's gonna rain. <laughs> but I'm gonna grab the GoPro, chuck it on the car, because I forget to record too much. And then we're gonna see what we can do with this thing. It should be a fun little car. Bam, look at the big six cylinder. As you can see, this is a Californian car because it has all the smog stuff on it, the pollution. That has to go away. We'll get rid of that ASAP. This has factory air conditioning, which is cool. Big monster power rubber here. And uh, yeah, aside from that, which is a pretty original thing. Kim has never fired this car up since he's had it in the country. So I don't actually know how long it's been here. I have to quiz him on that, but it won't take much to get this thing started. Bit of fresh fuel, new battery. Hopefully we'll have a pair in pretty soon. But I'll play with that later. For now, we gotta get this thing on the trailer. There's running repairs, one stop shop. Yeah. All right, she all loaded up. I already love these things. It is so light, easy to move. Threw that on in a heartbeat, just got to tie it up finish up some paperwork inside, strap this thing down and then hit the road. So we're just having another quick walk around Kim's yard. You guys may have had a look before when I picked up the javelins from this very spot here. And I just thought I'd have a chat to Kim before I left because I get so many people questioning me on this yard. There's so much cool stuff around. Uh, we just thought we'd have a quick look at some of the stuff that may be for sale. We've got the four door Skylark here. Sorry, what year was it, Kim? It's a 69. 69, yeah. it's running a 350. Kim says, runs awesome, 12 bolt rear, um, real solid engine. Obviously it's a bit of a roughy, but um, it could be your way into the market worth looking at. It's restorable or it'll make a good parts go. So there's the Skylark there. Um, a few of these cars aren't necessarily for sale, but I mean, as Kim said, most stuff's for sale for the right, for the right money, but um, there's all sorts around here. One of the only Aussie cars in the yard. A lot of people would be very interested in this thing, I reckon. We got the Silver Mink HK Prem. Uh, it's a factory 186 uh, bucket seat window. power window car. Um, so it's got a lot of good features. It's the red trim and the Silver Mink in color. Uh, so yeah, it's a non-vinyl top car and it's pretty solid. Obviously, it's got a bit of uh, a bit of weather around the place, which they're all going to have. But um, yeah, overall, pretty solid car and. Reasonably straight too, so um, Kim's gonna drag that out eventually and 
sort of get it ready for sale but if anyone's interested in any of these cars you should definitely hit me up in the comments below and you might score yourself a nice ride all right making our way back through the front here that's just bloody... we've got all sorts around here the um oldsmobile kim recently brought in soft top car um that's going to be on the market eventually but not quite yet i think kim wants to enjoy it for a little bit and also here we got the lincoln continental what year is it it's a 70. 70. 70. 70. 70 Lincoln Continental. I'll pull the top back because this is what started it all. We come here to look at this car initially and I ended up buying the Javelins, but this is a really, really cool car. Yeah, I've got all the parts for that one. There's nothing right. actually missing. Yep. And it's got a 460 in it. The motor is actually really sweet. Right. Motor, there's nothing wrong with the motor. Yep. Really, really good, strong engine. And you were saying you uh, you brought this in, then I'm sold long, it. Long time back. ago. Long, right. Many years ago, so I brought this car out. Yeah. But it's been kicking around, you know, the place, and uh, I ended up buying it back. Yeah. It is an awesome shape. I love this it's, thing. It's just it's restorable. It's not a bad old car, actually. Yeah. As you can see, there's plenty around, so anyone that's interested in any, uh, picking up a, at a classic, um, want a bit of a project, hit me up in the comments below, and um, yeah, get yourself one like I have now. I'm going to drive this thing home now. Alright, there we are, all loaded up, ready to roll. Alright, thanks again, Kim. No worries, Mark. Good I'm one. sure all the uh, viewers are loving the tour again, so but right. I'm sure we'll be back again. So all right. sounds good. Alright. Yep. Let's hit the road now. No worries, bud. So here we are next morning. Um, initial plan was to take this car down to Andrea's place because this is going to be hopefully her weekend cruiser. But um, decided against that. There's a few things I need to do on it. The brakes were removed for um, shipping reasons. Uh, import, they need to take the shoes off for asbestos. So um, I want to deal with all that stuff here because it's just easier being home. So now we have to do a bit of a number to try and get this thing off the trailer with no brakes on a hill, going up a hill. Shuffle some cars, get this done. Okay, so initially the plan was just to get this car home and um, I was just going to pop up the video on just the journey of getting it all and not really doing any work on it until further notice but I'm itching, I can't wait to find out if this thing runs. It's never been started since it's been here in the country and I don't know how long it's been, maybe a couple of years but it does turn over really freely by hand so I'm not going to like soak the boards with oil or anything like that. It's a battery bit of fuel see what happens and I'm not gonna do much further than that as in right now so if we have some joy good if not it'll be another time while we 
wait for this to fill up. I'll just tell you all that for now. There's no plans on putting a V8 in it. <laughs> this would be nice with little Windsor in it, but honestly, you can't go fast anyway, let's be honest. It's um, it's just going to be such a cool little cruiser to be able to jump in and go. Maybe down the track we might do something performance-wise. For now, for the short term, I'm going to tidy up this engine bay because, you know, I like to have a nice clean engine bay. We'll do that, get it running, sweet. For now, this is going to be the powerhouse. Hopefully. Unless it's dead. <laughs> then we'll be putting a V8 in it. Definitely. These batteries are such a pain. I've got no handle on them. Stupid. Alright, fresh battery, fresh fuel. Let's see if anything works. Oh, we got an interior light. I hear noise. Something. Yeah. Frickin' oath, we got a turnover. Right, you're gonna need a bit more than just turning a key. Alright, let's see how we go with this. Right, kill it. No spark, can't be. Back to basics, no spark at the points, so we're going to have to start digging. So this is not going to be a today thing, but it was worth a shot. Um, what I will also do today, but I won't bother recording because it is boring, pull these uh, drums off and find out what is missing in the way of the brakes because I know there is something missing in there. I'm hoping it's just the shoes and try and get some parts sourced so they can be on their way so I can get this thing rolling and stopping again. All right, couldn't help myself. I had to have another dig. This little inline um, ignition circuit, it basically bridges the coil and it's running down to an ignition box down under here. I have no idea if this is factory or an add-in. It looks like it's an add-in, but because it's a smog car, I don't know, maybe it's a factory thing. Maybe you know, maybe you can tell me. But what I do know is that once I've bypassed all that, I now check the points, I check this out. Crank it. We have spark, so cap goes on, we try again. Yep, go. Yo! She runs. she runs. That's all I wanted to know. Sick. <laughs> She's making some noises. I'm not sure if it's top end or bottom end. We'll go with top. I'm gonna to soak this up now. Put some uh, lifter free and stuff in it. Do an oil change, all that sort of stuff that I should have done before. And then, yeah, see how we go from there. Big plus. All right, so that is a massive win for the Mustang. So the thing is running. I'm now gonna go through and do all the maintenance that I should have done prior to what I just did. Also, one other thing is that I did have a look at the brakes. I pulled off the drums and the shoes there. So I put some fresh fluid in and pumped for about 10 minutes and I ended up getting a pedal. So right now the brakes have come up and I've got somewhat of a firm pedal. It's a bit squishy, but basically it's there. So I basically gotta bleed that up and there's a complete system there. So two massive wins for the Mustang this morning in all of an hour, hour and a half, not even. So that's gonna be it for the Mustang this week because I'm a little bit under the pump. If you haven't seen already, Charlie and I are putting on a car meet this Saturday coming on the 16th of October at Woodville North down at Jake's Workshop. It's gonna be an awesome meet. We're gonna try and get as many people down there as we know with cool classics and unique cars like this one. And if you're in the uh, SA Adelaide area, you should definitely come down and check that out. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe, let us know what you think of the new pickup and um, check out the online store. And I'll see you all on an upcoming episode of Beyond Empire. Cheers, guys.